welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at Novigrad. Not lollygagging. Sick. Sick of it all. And we're trying to find oh. someone named Sweet Nettie. This life. At Crippled Kate's, which I'm, to be honest, I'm not even sure what that place is. The thinking customer will see right away I've got the best deal What's this your side. hair lately? The thinking customer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Isn't the blacksmith over here too? There's a witch hunter. Is it in here? Locked. <clears throat> It's in here somehow. How do I get it? How do I go in through this way? Ha ha! Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I'll give you a discount. You mean me to grab another last joint? What? But the madam. Well, you know. Any leads you'd be master. us two and you. Oh, all right. But what with the state you two are in, you've got to fluff each other first. Snake eyes. Got a snake's tongue as well. Okay, let's just go upstairs and interrupt Sweet Nettie and her very important client. So, what's it gonna be? How many people are in here? Oh, jeez. Up further, I'm assuming. No one will hear you, bitch. Oh. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Just like that? Yeah. What, no foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, Vagrant. Um... Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. The quarry. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. Should have been obvious. All, of course he has I've access to advance. formaldehyde. I'm gonna be... Yeah. Oh, perfect. Leave her alone. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes. I will. Good boy. Through here. And through here. Of course it was the corner. Uh, well, now that we know. Oh, I'm not buying anyone. People, help me! What? Well, my dad told me they didn't uh, what? I used to do the laundry. So that's what all those gentlemen do with the passive flora. Get their laundry done? Guess so. Looked in the window once. They was all prancing round. Really? So why does my dad say the passive flora is the best because it's got the dirtiest floor? A key. Golly. Adults are strange. What? What did I just witness? Oh, 
Key to the door? What just happened? Alright, let's get out of here before we're hit on by more strumpets. Hello? Is this not... Go to the warehouse. Alright, yeah. Do we have to find another way in? Alright. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Mm. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Huh. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Right! Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. <laughs> um, I'm not sure anybody really gets the reason behind it. Tortured logic, yet logic nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. I Awaken definitely them, disagree. Scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. No. Nope. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it. Oh, jeez. I need to prepare. Um Oh wow, that took a lot of damage. All right. Can't get hit by that. Um potions. Oils. There. Okay. All right. All 
right, all right. Igni. I need a Quinn. Bleeding finished it. Ooh. Oh, dang it. Dear D8. What is experience from humans and non humans? It's probably still worth it. I'll keep it on until the next time I need to use a silver sword. Jeez, a higher vampire. Wow. Remember, dear people, that a fire once lit cannot be stopped, that it consumes everything in its path and only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element, and if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your consciences and live in accordance with the church's dictates before the time for penance has passed. Sure, guy, whatever. Man, the coroner, a higher vampire. Didn't expect the vampire part. Uh, anything else interesting in here? Mostly because I didn't have Quinn on, but meh. But uh, come on, Geralt. There we go. Fucking high oars. All right. Now, ah, we're back to Dandelion. Perfect. Life, you gotta take risks and not get fucked. All right, here we go. Medic. Oh, this must be where uh, Dandelion took Priscilla. Through here? Yeah. How's better? Right? Y yes. She can speak. That's amazing. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witcher's way. <laughs> Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll that try would be nice. Duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion, on stage and off. Oh, I'm so glad. I am so glad she's doing all right. So, oh, that's... That's perfect. Can I talk to her? S sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Yep. There we go. 
get well soon. Let's sing some more. Man, her voice was fantastic. Alright. Uh, next quest defaulted to Skellige, but I think what I want to do first. A deadly plot, meet Dijkstra. Is this the one getting rid of out of it? Yes, we're doing that one. In the next episode, we're going to start on the path to assassinating a king. I just said that. We're going to assassinate a king. Well, that's about it for this one. Greetings. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed, and good night.